Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing well. I am so sorry for my long absence. I have had just the craziest summer with traveling and weddings and bachelorette parties and just vacation. So I know I've been gone for quite a while. I really appreciate you guys hanging in there and also coming back to support this channel. I've just been pretty much gone every single weekend and then during the week I've been catching up on work. So I haven't had time to film a video, but I am back and I did just get back from a week in Hawaii and I did do some shopping there. So I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys what I got in Hawaii. So without further ado, let's get started. The first two items I wanna show you are are from Louis Vuitton and Louis Vuitton does do special Hawaii pricing and the sales tax there I think is roughly half of what it is in California so I think the sales tax there is around 4.4 percent and in California it's over eight percent so already I was saving money on tax and then um, these two items I got from Louis Vuitton I wouldn't say were necessarily on my wish list for mainland prices but if I had the opportunity to go to Hawaii and or to Europe I was probably gonna look for these pieces and I was really happy that I was able to get both of them here's the first one and um, I did unbox this already because I had to pack everything so this is not a true unboxing here is the item any guesses to what it is so here it is and it is the cosmetic pouch and this is in the smaller size and I already have the entire toiletry line, um, the 26, the 19, and the 15. I really just wanted to have something to hold my makeup in that was a little bit smaller. And I really like that this has the wipeable interior. There's also a pocket here, and this item was made in France. It does have the Vachetta tab here and here, and the zipper is very smooth, so I like that a lot. I know that this isn't an item that I'm going to be able to fully stuff because of the shape of it. So um, I'm going to want to try to keep it definitely below capacity for sure, just to kind of keep the shape of it. Because if you ever overstuff this bag, it's going to be really hard to close. Things will be protruding off the sides. And I just sort of feel like that's not a great look. And then I want to try to keep the structure intact as much as possible. Here is the second box. And here's the item. Any guesses to what this is? Okay, so here we go. This is, it looks familiar, doesn't it? This is the cosmetic pouch in the larger size. And I don't know, I'm just kind of a sucker for having the set. And um, I feel like this is gonna be better for like makeup for bigger trips. And this can be like an everyday makeup bag or just for like weekend trips. I know I probably didn't need both of them, but I just really like having both of them in my collection. So same kind of thing. It's basically the exact same design, wipeable interior. This one does come with a lipstick holder right here. And it does have an additional pocket on this side. Um, and this item was also made in France. But other than that, it's pretty much the exact same design. Both have the half moon zipper. They're like semi-circular. They both have a shed of tabs on either end right here with the brass zipper. So that is these two items from Louis Vuitton. I also have this item from Chanel, which I am so, so, so excited about. I have been on the hunt for this for a very, very long time, but I really couldn't find the exact style and size that I wanted. So um, I did unbox this. I've actually worn this already on vacation. Let me just show you guys what it is. Here it is. And oh my gosh, you guys, I love this so much. It is this gorgeous brooch with the double CCs. It is champagne gold and it has a little crystals and I love this. I think it is the perfect size. I've been looking for a brooch for a really, really long time, and they're all just like really big, and I just felt like they kind of overwhelmed me a little bit, but I just really like the size of this. This is kind of like the perfect size. I could wear it with a shirt like this. I've already worn it with, um, with a dress on vacation, and I just think this is really, really stunning. So I'll insert some photos so you guys can see. So here it is. This is the Chanel brooch. And unfortunately, um, Chanel, Chanel and Hermes, they do not do special Hawaii pricing, but you are saving on the sales tax. So I did pay full real, retail price for this, um, just saving a little bit on tax. Okay, now we are going into the Hermes goodies, and this is definitely a true unboxing. I was able to pack this all on my carry-on with the boxes and ribbons intact, so I have not opened these since I bought them a few days ago. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna start with this small box right here. And you can see it's a little something small and it comes um, in a very flat little box. So let's undo the ribbon together. Here it is. 
guesses? Any guesses? It is this gorgeous plate with this really pretty leaf on it. So here it is. I love this plate. I think I'm gonna store some jewelry on here, um, like either my watch or my bracelet, but I just love this so much. I think it does sort of remind me of Hawaii, which is perfect because that's where I purchased it. And it does have this cool trim right up here. It does say Hermes right up here in very, very small letters. Um, but here is the plate. And here's my next little box right here. She wrapped this beautifully. Here it is. As you can see it's probably another plate. And um, I think this was originally a box made for cups or something, as you can see from the cutout. I'm not really sure why she used a box of the size. Here it is wrapped. And it is this little dish right here. I think this is actually a soy sauce dish, um, but I'm gonna put my rings in here. And what I really loved about it was it has the H logo um, with the little mosaic tiles. It's so, so pretty. I think it's just more stunning in person. Um, and then here is the back of it right there. Yeah, I just, I think this is gonna be the perfect little ring dish or for just like change or anything like that. Um, and I think it's super, super cute. So here are the two plates together side by side. Honestly, I probably didn't need both of them, but I was so stuck um, trying to decide between these two that I just decided, you know what, I'm going to get both. Um, and I'm actually really happy that I did. I think they're both really, really beautiful and very different. Okay, moving on to some bigger boxes. You can probably tell what this is from the size of the box. Here they are. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. I got the Hermes Oasis sandals and they come with two little dust bags. And I got these in the size 38. And let me take the stuffing out so you guys can see a little bit better. And I got these in white. I thought they would be perfect for summer. Um, it is about a two inch heel, so very, very manageable to walk in. These are actually pretty comfortable. I probably will need to break them in a little bit. You can just tell the, the leather craftsmanship on these shoes are so, so well made. I'm very, very excited to wear these. I think these are gonna look great with dresses and jeans. Summer is definitely ending in San Francisco, but um, I don't really care. I'm just really excited to have these in my collection. So here again are the Oasis sandals in white. And here's my last shopping box. Here it is. And yes, another pair of shoes, but which pair are they? So here are the little dust bags. These dust bags are really nice, I have to say. I got the Oran sandals in gold, and these are also in a size 38. I think these are just incredibly classic. They will never ever go to uh, style. Um, I do, I did, the salesperson did say that they would stretch out just a little bit because my feet are a little bit snug in these. I think Hermes shoes definitely run a little bit more on the narrow side and I have wider feet. Um, so I would say I'm typically a 37 or 37 and a half, but in designer shoes, I almost always size up to a 37 and a half, but for these, I did have to size up to a 38. So here they are. And I just feel like the leather quality on these are so, so stunning. I think they're gonna last me a really, really long time. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, and I just feel like these will never ever go out of style and they are definitely going to be shoes I can wear for many, many years to come. All right, guys, that is my Hawaii haul. Thank you so much for your support and for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.